I think if I'm to sum it up in one word, I would say exceptional. The Aga Khan Academy in Maputo is the third in a series of academies. Uh, what's really fantastic is that this academy provides an opportunity for students, irrespective of their background, to access some of the finest education there is. And this really underpins, it's at the heart of what we're trying to do. We want ethical leaders, we want young people who can make a positive difference in their societies. And we do this through a range of curriculum, we do this through activities, we do this through a range of programs. Whether they're within the school grounds or whether we go beyond the walls of the school, to work more closely with our community. We use a play-based approach to drive inquiry in the KGs here, where students develop their communication skills, self-management skills, thinking skills, creative skills, and then in a classroom environment, they learn how to make decisions. The Al Khan Academy in Maputo has world-class facilities on this 50-acre campus and they range anywhere from academic uh, classrooms to common dining spaces through physical activity spaces that include a dance studio, swimming pool, uh, gymnasium. And this really gives the students an opportunity to engage in different types of learning activities, both for residential programs but also our day students. Uh, and this facilitates and nurtures a holistic development through creative, action-oriented, service-oriented programs. Another thing that um, separates us here at the Aga Khan Academy Maputo are the Aga Khan strands. Um, the Aga Khan strands are embedded into our curriculum. Um, they are economics for sustainability, we're talking about governance and civil society, we're discussing pluralism, cultures and ethics, and how do we apply these in our, in our local context. Other things that are enriching the IB program are actually being leaders and stewards. These are IB learner profile attributes that we're discussing with the students because this is what ultimately we want our students to become. We want them to become future leaders here in Mozambique or in the countries where they are coming from. If you put germs on it, the bread will turn like this color. As the co-curricular activities end at the end of the uh, formal school day, residential students continue to have life on campus. The residential program is both purposefully and intentionally developed to allow students to ensure that they can develop skills in looking at cognitive skills, their physical skills, social emotional skills, and looking at developing an ethical moral framework. We also have a very diverse community and that enables our students to really explore in depth different cultures and different cultural backgrounds. Not only is the academy culturally rooted here in Mozambique, but we're attempting for our students to have an international perspective and really understand global issues of significance. The only real entry requirement here is that the students have the skills and the competence and the talent to access the curriculum that we have to offer. When I first came here, I was scared because I thought that people would discriminate me because I didn't know how to talk English. I didn't know a word of English. And I, I was really scared. But then I noticed that they're not here to judge me. They're here to teach me. So it it's, was the best thing that I did coming to the school because I opened many doors to my future life. <laughs> 